friends, it's me, Kyra Beth, and welcome back to The Sims 4. It has been a while since I have done anything with Emily Sparacino, and I feel like I've neglected her. I'm like a bad sim parent. But, um, I'm gonna have her wake up here and take a piss. Steve! Yeah, you go take a piss. So, I don't remember if she works today. Let's see. No, today is a day off and it looks like she'll get a promotion next time she goes to work. So, uh, I don't know. What are we going to do today? We had an impromptu dinner party last time, which resulted in us not making friends with the people who came over, but making new acquaintances with uh, Howard, who is, um, what's her name, Desiree, that's her husband. Um, that's not what I wanted to click. I really can't talk and do stuff. Stop! Stop! Nope. Have brunch. What are you... She's eating leftovers. Why is... Okay. She's eating tilapia at 11.24 in the morning after she woke up. My average morning meal is cereal. That's like the only thing that I eat for breakfast. But anyway, so we have made Emily acquainted with many people. She only really has Mila as a friend, but it looks like Howard as well on his way to being her friend too. So seeing as Emily is getting older, she's got 14 days till she becomes an adult. And today is her day off. I think it's time for Emily to look for more companions. Now you may be saying, but Kyra, are you talking about a life companion? A romantic life companion? Yes and no. Because I would like to further Emily's line, but you know, if she doesn't feel like getting in a relationship with anybody, she doesn't have to do that. But. I think that she should go out, she should develop relationships with more people. I mean all the people that she knows are in relationships, right? I don't know if Mila is in a relationship, I don't think we've ever asked her. I think that the Munches have a household though, and she is also an adult, and I don't know how long she's been an adult for, which means she's going to be an elder, I don't know. I mean I don't want to force Emily to do whatever, but. I think that Emily just needs to find some more people to have in her life or to better develop the relationships yeah. that she currently has with people who potentially could be in her life forever. I think Emily should go out, see who is where, um, see maybe if she can just meet a nice sim, hang out, become friends, see how well they get along, you know, you know? So let's, uh, let's travel with nobody. Well, she's going to go just check out what is going on in whatever this place is called. Willowbrook or something like that. I mean, we could go to the desert area, but you know. So let's, let's go to the museum. I hear a person up here. Hello. Julie Otero? Who is <laughs> this? Ah, Larson. Vincenzo Griffin. Oh. <sighs> Jibil. Var Pasa. Yorid Jasapa Pinot. Should we include him in the conversation? I mean, he's kind of just checking out the art. I don't really want to interrupt him. Vinica Tomlin. Huh? Hibanai. Shalizam Flint. Oh, he's. Inserting das. himself in the conversation. Espinar, Zank. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. Ah, no. we're see what. Getting along with Julia so, Taro uh, very well. So so. Zimma Zank. Ah. Emily just oh, casually <laughs> greeted him like, "Oh, I'm busy talking to Julie, but you so are more than welcome to." We're gonna have a deep conversation with her. Vanessa. She's very happy. Being equipped. We're pretty happy to. Uh, Emily learned that <laughs> Julie is neat. So they share that trait. Uh -huh. I love how Julie's Delta. just trying to paint 
Aha. Chibs. Emily ah. is just like him. Zeb. Ah. How's the painting going? Grubble Here, listen to this funny story ah. about a marriage Gosh, breaking, ribs. as in a divorce. <laughs> Mila Munch is wondering if you want to go over to her house and hang out. <laughs> Heck yeah! Let's go. Sorry, sorry, Julie. I mean, Emily was walking away from the conversation anyway, but it was just like, oh, Julie, Mila Kunas is calling us. Like, we gotta go hang out with our friend Mila. She's our bud. It was really great talking to you. Would love to hang out with you another time, you know, when you're not trying to paint. But I gotta hang out with Mila Kunas because she is our best friend right now. I mean, they're not BFFs, but. Oh, Mila! Look at your little play! Hey. Sup, friend? Uh, Who's this? Wolfgang, is that your child? Uh -huh. Are you a mother? Oh. I didn't know that. This is a pretty cool house you got here, Mila Kunas. I mean, being a famous so actress, like, of course she has cool stuff. Should uh -huh. I? Oh, we're in the same club. I already know your son. <laughs> Why do you have so many beds? in your house. Look, she's got Wolfgang over here, right? And then she's got this room that's divided in two. Interesting. And then this room. Mila, these are some fancy busts you got. <laughs> busts. I'm so immature, guys. So Mila, are you, do you have a significant other or? Are you a single mom? I'm curious. Like who's his dad? Mila's single. So wait, Mila's single. Oh, we're good friends. Great. Anyway, wait, new friend. Did we? Did we become friends? We became friends with Julie! Oh, that's awesome! But any, back to my thought process. Hold on. Julie's a mail carrier from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Oh, okay, it was after, okay. Back to my thought process. So, Mila is a single mother with one child that I know of so far, but I'm assuming just one, living in this big-ass house with three beds for children and this huge look at this this house is huge for just her and her son like did she inherit it did is she a divorcee like what's going on Branca, it's the mystery of Mila Kunis who's that wait is that another child of yours wait child stop Gunther? Oh! Oh, she has chil- Oh, wow, she has a lot of children. Lucas and Gunther and Wolfgang. These are things I did not know about, Mila. Thanks for inviting me over, Mila, but... The mystery's been solved! We know why there are all these beds here. She's a single mom of three children. Two teenagers, it looks like. Wow. She's got her hands full. And I was, like, trying to take all of her attention away from them in a way by trying to make her Emily's friend. I was monopolizing her time when she should have been with her children. I need to go over to her house more. She needs to be a good mother. Oh, that was fancy. Look at those abs. She's freaking ripped. All right, guys, that is the end of Emily's day. We got a lot done today. Like exciting thing we have a new friend like a new person that emily can actually call friends good old julia who we were bothering while she was painting and then we hung out with mila and we found out that mila is a single mom what the heck didn't even know that what ifs but yeah it was an overall good day for her if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the life of Emily Spiracino, then please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.